How can you fix cell phone video that imports into your project as a vertical frame? This tutorial gives you the tools to make any vertical video fill a horizontal screen. Journalists often want to incorporate cell phone footage into longer video projects, but sometimes that means they're left with a video that fills only one third of the screen. Using the transform tool, we can rotate and resize this footage to fit our needs. You can access the transform tool one of two ways in Final Cut. First, you can use your inspector window, which is this right panel in your workspace. Any changes you make in this panel will be shown in the preview window in the middle. Likewise, you can make changes right in your preview window by accessing the transform tool in this drop down menu. That will activate your frame and allow you to click and drag to resize and reposition your video right in the preview window. If a horizontal cell phone video imports into Final Cut on its side, you can easily rotate it using the inspector window or the preview window. First, make sure you have your clip selected on the timeline. Then make sure your playhead is positioned somewhere over that clip. In the inspector window, you'll see the word rotation and a circle. Turn that circle and you turn your clip. You can also type in the degree value in this rotation field to get a precise rotation. Within your preview screen, you can select the transform option under this drop down here to highlight the frame of your clip. Then you can just click and drag to rotate that clip within your preview screen. Again, you can use the number field in the inspector window to make a more precise rotation here as well. You can use the transform tool to resize clips as well. In the preview screen, once you activate the frame, you can simply click on the corner of your clip and drag to resize. In the inspector window, use the scale option to slide the clip to be bigger or smaller. Now let's fix a video that was shot vertically, so it only takes up about a third of the screen. One way to fix this problem is to create a background to place behind the clip. You'll often see a blurred version of the same clip zoomed in behind the main video. To achieve this look, I've added a blur using the effects panel. I then bring my cell phone footage on the timeline as B-roll over the blurred clip. You'll notice they're the same size, so I can only see the B-roll footage right now. If I select the blurred clip on my timeline and then use the scale tool in the inspector window to increase its size, I'm left with a full screen that doesn't have these black bars anymore. It looks pretty good. Now I can use the scale tool to zoom into the main clip a little more. Make sure you select the B-roll clip on your timeline first. Then use your transform tool to increase the size of the clip. You can move it around on your screen using the preview window to reposition the focus. We can repeat those same steps to watch this footage shot by the drone at the same time that we're watching the video of the drone flying. First, resize this footage so it's smaller. Then move that footage to the top right hand corner of the screen. You can see it's still the whole video clip playing, it's just smaller. Then take the clip on the timeline and move it over the other video as B-roll. You'll see as they play at the same time we're seeing the large video in the background and the drone footage video smaller in the foreground. So with these simple steps, you can take two different videos and play them at the same time. This tutorial went over how to rotate clips and how to resize them in order to fix vertical video to fit into a horizontal frame.